one of the initiatives that we have also taken is like see definitely like from credit review perspective we give a lot of weightage to the financials of the company right but there are times when you don't have financials available for certain customers so in that case we also have kind of a search engine within the credit risk organization who have you know developed a kind of a template where we track like you know information coming from google bloomberg you know and just kind of you know keep a track on what are the latest news and information available mm -hmm. so that we kind of uh, gather that and like you know continue to provide to the business leaders so that they can take some kind of you know actions if needed and obviously like as i said like you know it's important that you keep looking at your credit utilization versus your credit limits uh, and like you know how the customer pay habits have been based on that like you know take decisions considering like you know if there's some news coming to you like you know there could be a cash flow issues with the customer or something so those kind of elements we use in parallel you know just just to mitigate those risk mm -hmm. One of the thing what we also do is we have a country baseline term, right? So we also look into like for specific countries, like what is the best possible term that you can give it to a customer. That's one thing. And obviously like, you know, we, uh, letter of credit is definitely one of the process which is really helping us out, mm -hmm. you know, to mitigate those risks and like, you know, secure your, uh, you know, uh, revenue uh, with those customers. But I think the country baseline term really help us drive some kind of behavior. And <clears throat> in addition to that, we also have a ETR process where like, you know, extended term request. So what, what we do with that is like, let's say if there's a, you know, request which is coming from sales or anybody like, you know, that they want to extend that uh, customer with additional terms or something. Uh, we, we keep a track on that. And there's an initiative what Tony is involved in where there's a lot of pressure like, not many ETR needs to be approved. Mm -hmm. You know, the number of ETRs need to go down. It, we need to stick to the standardized payment terms that we have for Honeywell. So I think that model has really helped us a lot. In, in order to mitigate risk, we want to always cover our what we call our economic cost. Uh, we have both a products businesses, but we also have project-based businesses. And what we've done there is we've required our project-based businesses to get uh, advances from our customers and we've targeted certain businesses to get a 20% advance or a 30% advance just so we're covering we're always covering our economic cost oh. as, a, as a way to protect ourselves.